Make a give it all arsenal deck. Oh, dude, wait. Oh, you haven't got enough landmarks, so you don't really have landmarks. That's a problem. Yeah, you haven't got you haven't got enough access to. Uh, I mean, you could go like. Okay, to be fair, you could actually make it work. I mean, you don't have to get like 17 keywords on Arsenal, but if you can get like like five, maybe. I think that works out okay. Oh, let's give it a spin. This looks pretty whack, but um, <laughs> there's probably going to be some fresh memes. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't believe it. This is going to be rough. It's a pretty decent hand. I don't think we keep the Zornite. Or it could be that we just keep this entire hand because it's more cycle. We're probably not getting the combo off until we draw a fair bit through the deck. So, yeah, this is probably fine. Now where did I leave that beaker? I could push two or push for more damage. I think playing Boom 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 here is probably okay. If anything, he plays something that allows me to trade into him, like his Boom Boom Boom. Um, at this point, we're probably just double swinging. I'd rather get this trade off now before he finds value from Flame Chompers later. The party has arrived. All right, let's get these. Uh, we want to play chemist this turn so we can get the landmarks completed. Skip the block here. I can stop him from using an axe. Probably just go ahead and play Zornite. There's Arsenal with zero keywords right now, but we have the combo. We have the combo. Attacking here feels kind of weird. I'm going to play Conchologist, see what I can find. Okay, Bouncing Bomb makes what us feel a little bit better. Below. Ha, I got an idea. Um, he could actually flip Draven here if he decides to do Get that. An with your name and we it. know that this deck has plenty of discard fodder. I would argue it would be a really good play. He could play around, I don't know. It, it's It'd be pretty odd to see someone actually commit that much resources still. But yeah, Bouncing Bomb. Not a bad card here. I oftentimes find myself picking this up from Discovery Effects or Manifest Effects. It's actually a pretty reasonable card a lot of the time. Main decking, it's not good though, because it's very situational. So obviously when you're manifesting cards, it makes a lot more sense when you see it at the time. Draven down. Whereas if you were to main deck a card like uh, the bombs, then you oftentimes find it bricking your hand. Impact. I have the best job. Hang on. <laughs> We're rolling. Count down three. It's not bad. I'll tell you what though, we have plenty of chump blockers. I think what we have to do here though is we Yo, what's up, Michael? We have to not die to the scion when he first comes down. This will grant my strongest ally. Plus three. We we'll probably just play Boom Boom Boom. We have a block for the fearsome. We have blocks all around. Now we're cooking. Uh, so now he's going for the Draven flip. Oh no. Playing some elusives. Axes coming right up. Oh, that's fine. I guess it keeps his unit alive too. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just want to not take as much damage as we can. T 
time for the Yo, what's up, R4 Ren HVG? How are you? Loping Telescope is great though. You can get Moonlight and make Arsenal come out on 7. It's actually not a terrible idea. The only other issue is like, is your Arsenal going to have enough keywords by that turn? But um, yeah, Loping Telescope could still make a lot of sense. I, thought I, was already I decided perfect. against it because it might be a little bit slow. But um, it's actually not a terrible idea, still. I don't know why I did that. I could have done this all next turn. We can go for the discard on Scion. That seems pretty worth it to me. Survival now skills. This rough. is gonna hurt for you. Expensive though, but a little bit rough. So dizzy. Yeah, playing Arsenal with Moonlight though is actually pretty Look, nice. Elf, that's not ours. Because he can curve Arsenal and didn't give it all at that point. Alright, the strategy here is not to die. We discarded one of his silence too, which was really clutch. This card what the fuck is this symbol? Time for the money makers. Yeah, I think being able to play the Arsenal this turn would be great. To be honest. We're not actually in the most worst position. Got axes, need victims. We're not actually in a terrible position here. I don't have a survival skills here. I mean, he couldn't actually use it technically. These keywords aren't like too exciting. We're gonna get one more keyword on Arsenal. Quick attack. That's an exciting keyword. You want a big boom? You call this guy. Oh, no Scion? Alright, alright. Wait, doesn't give it all lethal? Oh yeah, we probably could have played give it all. Yeah, you're right. We could have gone give it all. Three elusive currents. But that's not quite as pop. It's a day of beauty. Is he here yet? Oh man. To be honest, I don't think he's gonna open attack here. It's Draven time. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> we did it. We did it! <laughs> Impact times two. Nice one. <laughs> so yeah, nice one, you sop. We did it. Oh, is he gonna let me finish too? Boom, baby! Oh. <laughs>
Oh, that was nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Passed the Draymond Sign test. Very lucky. Everything lined up right. We discarded Scion with the Aloof Travelers, so that was pretty perfect. He developed on his final turn. Uh, we hit him with the Give It All. That was sick. 